Before you start creating arrays, it's good to understand the concept of exactly what an array is. So imagine that a typical variable can store one data item. And if you needed to create 365 variables, one for each day of the week, imagine how long that would take you to create all those separate variables and assign them values. Instead, you can just create one array, which is an object that allows you to store a collection of data items. You can create an array and set the size at 365 and you're done with a single line of code. And each of these data items, known as elements, can be accessed directly. The location of each element is called the index, and the index typically starts at zero and the last element of the array is the size of the array minus one. For example, let's say that you were outside in a parking lot and there were 10 cars parked in a row. Their indexes would be from 0 through 9, and each of those cars is an element of the array, and it's an array because it's a collection of items that are all the same. They're all cars. So subscribe and watch some other videos on how we're going to create arrays, initialize them, iterate through them, and we'll also learn how to create multidimensional arrays.